everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alessandra. If this is your first time here, thank you for being here. And if it's if you're coming back, thanks again for being back. Today I have a mini unboxing that is really exciting to me. I've ordered finally some Jesse James beads. I have never tried this company and I heard so much about it. I just saw so many YouTube videos and the beads look really amazing. So I definitely wanted to try them out for myself. So let's go ahead and open this envelope and see what's inside. So we're picking inside and yes, I have ordered a Halloween theme um, box. They had several of them on their site. And um, I had an idea when I saw the mix from somebody that was opening this box. So hopefully I can come back with a tutorial pretty quickly. But let's go ahead and open it up. So everything, as you can see, is very well packaged. And on top of the little Halloween box, I got a color trend mix that I thought might go well with the box, some extra beads, and some interesting chain that I've never really worked with before. So this is a fiber chain and you get a pretty long amount that's say about maybe uh, three feet or more. Um, and um, it's very interesting. It's a beautiful color. It's not quite coming across on camera or maybe it will. Sometimes I can't tell from my camera because it looks different on my computer. Uh, but it's this beautiful like dark, uh, beautiful just kind of fuchsia. And it's very lightweight and it's a fiber chain and I'm actually really amazed by it because um, it didn't look that good on the website and I've seen it in other videos and I thought, huh, I don't know. I'm kind of interested, but I don't know if it'll be good, but it's actually really pretty. So I am really excited to be working with this for sure and I hope I'll find a use. Really odd when I saw these, uh, these just beautiful uh, flower beads that have uh, roses all around. I think they're suspended in resin, I'm not sure. But uh, they are beautiful, and I thought it would be interesting for uh, focals, perhaps. Or in a pair of earrings, but I think I am leaning towards focals more, for sure. Then I got this color trend bead mix in Sunset Goddess, so let's go ahead and open this it up. This is very pretty and very colorful. Uh, we have some beautiful uh, oranges um, that are very bright. And then we have this really pretty purple kind of AB wash focals. Um, I'm just going through this unboxing pretty quickly because I want to get to play with this. Uh, we have some of these beautiful flowers. Uh, by the way, I received this box after receiving their Halloween box from Salt Flex. And just a little spoiler alert, you do get some Jesse James beads in that, in that box. So um, this is really not my very first time with Jesse James beads, I suppose. But um, it's my it's the second close. I mean, I just got him. I got the Halloween box just yesterday. And I do have a reveal on that, but I'm not a allowed to post it until September 30th and I am working on a design for that one that I hopefully can film but there you go yeah there's just like this beautiful kind of different uh, mixes uh, you get some rhinestones as well uh, but let's go ahead and open the other mix because I am more excited about that this is a beautiful mix though it gives you enough uh, stuff to work with and uh, I hope to be able to mix it with the other one to give it a little bit more of a pop of color so, so let's this is the start of the show this is the one that I really wanted um because, you know, it is the season, so Day of the Dead is my favorite um, Halloween type of holiday, for sure. Um, I feel very connected to it. Um, I am half Latino, so although I'm not Mexican, I do feel an affinity for this really uh, fun, colorful palette, the sugar skulls and everything. I absolutely love it. If I have to pick between uh, the Halloween colors and the Day of the Dead colors, I'd go for sure for these. So let's just go ahead and open up. Oh, yeah, there's a lot packed in this little guy, so let's go ahead and dump it and see what's in here. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a lot of stuff. So let me just kind of separate it by color so I can go through it quick quicker. So I'm going to go through this kind of quickly, but the first things you get are this beautiful, uh, really light metal enameled sh uh, sugar skulls. They're uh, white. These are wonderful. You could uh, add extra things. You could even paint it, but I kind of like them as they are. However, we'll see. Uh, I pictured these in either like light, large, large earrings or perhaps... I don't know, as a pendant, each one as a pendant. The main focal that we get is this magnesite skull with some rhinestones that are glued in the eye socket. So uh, this is actually quite large. I expected it to be smaller, but I like it. That's very, very nice. Then we get a selection of more magnesite skulls that are smaller, that are very uh, handy for earrings or for extra beads um, around the focal, perhaps. And we have two white and then four turquoise. And these little stunners are uh, charms, enamel charms, I believe, or resin charms, perhaps. Um, they're one-sided, um, but they're very nice and very pretty, very unique. Um, definitely would be as interesting in uh, bracelet charms or as earrings. 
Then we get these really beautiful little flowers, fabric flowers. I really like these. And we get four different colors to each. Um, they definitely go well with the Day of the Dead themes. As we know, they have a lot of flowers and roses uh, decorating the skull. So this should be interesting to use for sure. So I'm just going to go by colors now. Uh, we get a selection of orange and a little bit of orange yellow beads here, crystals, and then resin flowers. Then we get a splash of pink, some metallic fuchsia, and uh, some lava beads, I believe, that are uh, pink as well. You get four of those. Then we get some pearly whites and more lava beads uh, that are definitely coming in handy as well. Some more teal beads. We have this interesting frosted glass with a metallic uh, decoration of waves that are like uh, turquoise that go very well with these. And of course we have the mandatory black, which is uh, obviously well thought out for this collection. We want that little bit of Halloween splashed in the mix too. And we get quite a variety of bead caps and bead spaces, always in this floral kind of theme. Um, and these are very nice as well, definitely go with the theme for sure. And then we get some bead spacers, uh, mostly silver with a splash of golden rhinestones. So that should be interesting. I always like mixing metals. Uh, it gives more of a boho feels to pieces, so uh, this should be fun. So there you go, this is the whole collection at a bird eye view. Uh, we have the Halloween right here, which is like the main collection that I wanted. And then I have a subsidiary collection to help out with my design in the Sunset Goddess, as well as the uh, beautiful chains that we talked about and these beads that are really interesting focals as well. So I'll be back with a tutorial soon, I hope. So. You can stop here and this is the unboxing. If you would like to watch the tutorial, uh, keep watching. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be uh, posting it right after this or if I'm going to make a separate video. It depends on how long it is. Uh, however, I'm going to go ahead and say if you like this video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you very, very soon with hopefully an interesting tutorial with all of these beads.